Hey, my pink fam. I know I have not been on to do a video in a long time. It's been a couple weeks, but just been a lot going on. And I promised myself I was not going to do that. I was not going to get away from recording and, you know, blogging the way that I wanted to vlog. But um, today I absolutely had to speak on the daily devotional. Remember I told you guys that I read for my devotional every morning. And today the title was Rebels Beware. Rebels, you rebels, you hard-headed ones, the ones of us, because I can say that I've, you know, been there too, the ones of us that deliberately do things against God's wishes. So let me read the scripture and then I'll come back. Um, it says, since the days of Adam and Eve, way back then, just stubborn, rebels, doing what you're not supposed to do. God tells you to do one thing, you do the other. Rebels. Since the day of Adam and Eve, human beings have been strong-willed and rebellious. Our, rebellious stem, our rebellion stems, excuse me, in large part from an intense desire to do things our way. I totally messed that line up. It stems, our rebellion stems in large part from an intense desire to do things our way instead of God's way. But when we pridefully choose to forsake God's path for our lives, we do ourselves a sincere injustice and we are penalized because of our stubbornness. God's word warns us to be humble, humble, not prideful. I'm like just all over the place with my reading today. God instructs us to be obedient, not rebellious. God wants us to do things his way. When we do, we reap a bountiful harvest of blessings, more blessings than we can count. But when we pridefully rebel against our creator, we sow the seeds of our own destruction, and we reap a sad, sparse, bitter harvest. May we sow and reap accordingly. Let me read that last line again. But when we pridefully rebel against our Creator, we sow the seeds of our own destruction. When we're sitting here going on and on about things that, you know, just just prideful about things that we know we shouldn't be doing, um, and and making light of it. We are slowly but surely sowing the seeds of our own destruction. And the scripture that's attached to this is Proverbs 21, 29, 1. If you want to look it up, it says, Whoever is stubborn after being corrected many times will suddenly be hurt beyond cure. I mean, it's, it's so true because um, it's like you don't play with him. You know, we... Some of us do things that we know we shouldn't be doing. We do them, and be, but we do them because we can. We do them because we can, and we do them because it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Because I'm a grown woman, because I can, because it feels good, because in that moment, at that time, nothing else matters but myself, and that's what I want to do. Because I'm not ready to stop or I'm not ready to do the opposite. I want to do what I want to do, and nobody can tell me otherwise. Who's going to stop me? So we do it and not take it into consideration how unhappy that's making God feel. You know, he loves us despite all our flaws, all our imperfections. He loves us, but, and he's the only one that can judge us, but think about how blessed you have been and how you deliberately cross the line and go against what he wants us to do or what he has put in his word for us to do and for us to not do and you deliberately go against that it's like you're making a mockery of the things that he has done and I feel like just as soon as you can receive blessings or blessings that you have you know that, that, that you have that maybe even have, have taken time to get. Just as soon as we receive those things, those things can be taken away from us just like that. And that's what it was saying, that, that you will um, we sow the seeds of our own destruction and reap a sad, sparse, bitter harvest. And in the scripture it says, whoever is stubborn after being corrected many times. You're suddenly going to, if you keep doing that, if you keep doing what you know you shouldn't be doing, you if, you're, if you're doing, if you're reading the Bible and you know that the Bible says don't do this, don't do this, he has commandments, he has the word, he has different things that he wants us to go by, and you deliberately choose to not go by that, you, 
you know, you can't be surprised if in, in somewhere down the line, suddenly you come upon this, this season of hardship or this season of not understanding why you've gotten into these predicaments or why you're feeling like this or why things are not coming together for you. But you have to remember that back then and there was a moment then you, you didn't care. You didn't care and, and you made the decision where you could have went this way, but you went that way and you just were rebell rebellious. You were rebellious. You, when we all kind of go through that, you know, I think my 20s was when I was really rebellious. Really rebellious, of course. A lot of us, for a lot of us, it, 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 that is the point. But when I look when, at... I'm 31 now, so when I look back at the things that I was doing then, it's like, girl, what were you thinking? But now, coming into certain things that I'm doing, I'm not feeling like I want to cross those lines anymore. And that's growth for me personally. And there are still things that I probably do, um, or maybe say... <laughs> that I shouldn't and those are the things that I have to work on but we all have our faults none of us are perfect that's not what this video is about is to say be this perfect perfect person and live by all the commandments don't break any law don't do you know no, that's not what this is about this is about trying to at least eliminate doing the things those things that you know you shouldn't be doing and you might hear it from around. You might hear it from other people in your life. You might even tell yourself that. Even God might be telling you. All right? Don't, mm -mm. This ain't right. You might be feeling it. You know this ain't right. Don't do it. But you do it anyway. Because the devil is a liar. And he will tell you that it's okay. And he will tell you that in that moment right now you can do it. You can do what you want to do. Nobody, don't, you know, can't nobody check you. So, you do it. But... I just want you to understand and try to dig real deep into yourself and realize that. It, and, and then think about all the blessings that you do have. Think about how you sin and break these, break his word, go against his word, but you still have all these blessings coming in. Think about that. So think about if you did, you know, cut some of the things out that you don't need to be doing in your life and eliminate those things. Think about the abundance of blessings that are to come when you do live by his word and you do th do the things that he wants you to do, you know. It, it's it's amazing that he already chooses to wake us up, has chosen to wake us up every morning. And the little blessings that we don't acknowledge, we need to begin to acknowledge those things. And that's what I'm learning. Like I said, this is a journey for me too, and I'm still learning a lot along the way. Um, but, man, what do they say? Like when you think about your good days and your bad days and, you know, the good days always they outweigh the bad days. Well that's definitely true and um because you're waking up and if you're watching this you have um the internet or whatever um you have time to sit and look and you can hear and see and understand you're you're pretty blessed already so anyways i'm going to cut this short this one's longer than what i wanted it to be i was trying to keep this short but y'all know i run my mouth so um until next time peace and blessings uh, share the word on the page. It's sharing underscore pink on Instagram, sharing underscore pink on Facebook. Follow the page, follow the Instagram, like the Insta Facebook, sorry. All, do all that stuff, like, share, whatever, follow, do all that stuff. Help us get some support in um, so that sharing pink can have great things to come. Bye.